Hey guys, I just want to throw this in. I felt it need to make a separate video for this fort. So let's begin. Falmouth had a fort almost immediately after its founding. Written in 1774, Edward Long mentions of a small fort placed on Point Mangrove, which projects into the sea on the west side. He continues by cautioning that the site will not likely be healthy since it's altogether a swamp. It was moved shortly around 1787 in the middle of the town. This in-town fort was named for the Earl of Balcares, Royal Governor of Jamaica from 1795 to 1801 and the leader of the British troops in the Second Maroon War. But by 1803, the Jamaican Assembly once again moved the fort, this time back to its original location. There was two reasons. First, they argued that the new location rendered the fort almost useless from its situation. And more importantly, the second one, Falmouth is in danger of being set on fire whenever the guns of the said fort are fired, the same being nearly in the center of the town. By 1804, the fort was well under construction on its new site, defending the mouth of the harbor. The garrison at Fort Balcares was intended to serve as a military defense of the port, a responsibility that came into force in the French scare of 1804 when Jamaicans feared a French naval attack. The garrison was also useful in helping the city to combat city fires, two of which burned large sections of the city in 1808 and 1809. But passing through emancipation, the felt need for a military to defend the city began to wane. By the 1850s, the British government began to actively withdraw troops from their West Indies colonies and by 1864, Fort Balcares is described as in ruins. By 1882, the site was taken over by the town constabulary and rehabilitated slightly. In 1902, the site took on a function as the town's free all-age school. In 1986, the school was finally able to expand with the addition of the large concrete wing, more than doubling the size of the school. The school has now occupied the site far more than a century, much longer than its history as a military installation. When we walk around the school, remnants of the old fort are still around. From the old barracks, ruined buildings, cannons, and other weaponry in the fort. Okay guys, I hope you learned something. Till next time, bye!